Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Montreal Protocol. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So basically Montreal Protocol is a global agreement to protect the stratospheric ozone layer by phasing out the production and consumption of ozone depleting substances. Ozone depleting substances or ODS caused harm in the ozone layer, hence the decision was taken. And this protocol was finalized in 1987. Specific responsibilities were provided to all member parties. Specific responsibilities were controlling ODS trade, reporting of data annually, controlling export or import of ODS. Both developing and developed countries had equal time bound and measurable commitments toward the protocol. They have undergone nine revisions. Financial and technical assistance were provided by UN Environment Program, UNEP, UN Development Program, UNDP, UN Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, and World Bank. The ODAs, which were harmful, were uh, regulated by the protocol, CFCs, halons, carbon tetrachloride, methyl chloroform, methyl bromide, HCFC, HFCs, etc. Montreal Protocol was the most successful international environmental action taken by the countries. With the protocol, the ozone layer is expected to recover by the year 2050 and our India became a signatory to the Montreal Protocol in 1992. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.